you too. Today we have the best of the best in smartwatch offerings from Samsung and Apple. This is the Apple Watch Ultra versus the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Oh, it's about to go down. I'm your smartwatch guru. Let's get straight into it. First stop is design. Let's start off here. Both of these watches are built extremely well with high premium quality materials in mind. From a design standpoint between these two, let's start off with weight. Now the Apple Watch Ultra is the heftier coming in at 63.1 grams. While the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, although being just as hefty <laughs> and chunky, is coming in a lot lighter at 46 0.5 grams. So if you're into weight and you're worried about that, or if you like lighter watches, the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro is a lighter smartwatch and Apple Watch Ultra is going to be a bit hefty. From the build quality standpoint, they're both rocking a sapphire crystal glass. Both are surrounded by titanium. The main difference with the Apple Watch Ultra to the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro is when you flip them over. Now, I will say this, the Apple Watch Ultra has a ceramic backing. While the Watch 5 Pro, I think, I don't, I don't know if this is, I don't know what this is. This could be plastic right here with this glass backing versus ceramic. So a lot more premium quality and build quality from front to back on the Apple Watch Ultra. Water resistance. They both have a pretty ideal water resistance, but one has a little bit more than the other. The Galaxy Watch 5 Pro has the standard IP68 up to 50 meters of water resistance. Now, the Apple Watch Ultra has kind of increased that this year with an IP6X certified 100 meter water resistance. The Apple Watch Ultra also has features ideal for scuba divers where it has like depth sensing and it can tell you how deep you are underwater and so forth. Really cool, very all terrain and all that, you know. <laughs> and then there's the sensors between these two. They pretty much have a lot of the same and similar sensors. Even the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro has a heat sensor, but it doesn't have any function yet, which is weird as the Apple Watch Ultra has the heat sensor that has function. But what I can say to the sensors is I've seen from my comment section and me gathering the consensus of everyone is the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro can be slightly tit for tat, uh, hit or miss when it comes to its sensors and its uh, fitness tracking versus the Apple Watch Ultra and Apple Watches just in general have a stronger track record for accuracy when it comes to their sensors and tracking. So that's just something to keep in mind. But nevertheless, they both have most of the same typical sensors and um, measurements that you get out of the top end premium smartwatches. Okay, now let's talk displays, you guys. These both have great OLED or AMOLED, whatever you wanna call it, displays on them. Now let's start off with the Apple Watch, which is rocking that LTPO OLED with 2000 nits of peak brightness. It's a 1.9 inch display with 502 by 410 pixels with a 338 PPI pixel density covered in that sapphire crystal glass with an always on display. Now, the Galaxy Watch has a super AMOLED 1.4 inch, 450 by 450 pixels with a 321 PPI density. So not as dense as the Apple Watch Ultra, has the sapphire glass crystal as well with the always on display. So a lot of things lining up kind of neck and neck and tit for tat when it comes to display. I don't have a exact measurement of the peak nit brightness of the Watch 5 Pro, but the Apple Watch at 2000 nits of peak brightness definitely is the brighter watch. And a lot of times visually is gonna give off the appearance of a more crystal clear and brighter and just more visible display. All right, next topic is performance, you guys. Now, when it comes to performance on smartwatches, both of these are really good, really effective, really responsive, very snappy, very quick as far as, you know, navigation and things like that. I love the performance of both of these smartwatches. All right, let's talk about the next category between the two, and that is storage. Something that you might not consider as much when it comes to a smartwatch, but a lot of people like to get LTE versions or they like to go for runs and become extremely active to the point where they don't want to have their phone with them. 
So they're going to rely on the internal storage of the smartwatches to carry their songs when they're not streaming and things like that. So we have 16 gigabytes of storage with 1.5 gigabytes of RAM when it comes to the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Now that storage does get different I think when you get the LTE version because it takes up more space versus the 32 gigabytes of onboard storage with the Apple Watch Ultra. All right, next up, let's talk about the speaker quality. The speaker quality and phone call quality on both is cool. The Apple Watch Ultra has a pretty nice loud speaker and the phone call quality and clarity on it is really good. The Watch 5 Pro, not as loud, doesn't have you know as robust of a speaker system, but call quality is decent. Connectivity. You can get both of these watches in LTE forms if you choose to. The Apple Watch Ultra just comes with LTE, whether you choose to use it or not. The Watch 5 Pro, you have to pick the LTE version or Bluetooth only. And then when it comes to Bluetooth, we got Bluetooth 5.2 on the Watch 5 Pro versus Bluetooth 5.3 on the Apple Watch Ultra. The Apple Watch Ultra also has a very robust GPS system, as well as this new satellite contact feature for those who go off on the, <laughs> you know, unbeaten path and possibly might need to be rescued. There's a lot of safety features and connectivities with satellites for that, as well as the crash sensors and things like that. So just something to think about. It's a little bit more robust and it just is what it is. Now let's talk about one of the most controversial and absolutely subjective topics and that's battery life. Now when it comes to battery life between these two devices, let's start off with the technical specs first because the battery sizing is extremely similar between these two devices. You have a 542 milliamp hour battery on the Apple Watch Ultra versus a whopping 590 milliamp hour battery on the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Here's what I'll say so far to my user experience with battery. Now with the Watch 5 Pro, I call it the three day battery guarantee. Although with certain settings and certain use cases, I'm seeing reports of four, even up to five days of battery on here. The same is gonna go with the Apple Watch Ultra. Now, my use cases is, has been a little bit heavier on the battery. I'm seeing three day battery, but it's kind of like that 2.5, two and a half days type of battery life with the Apple Watch Ultra versus the guaranteed like three day with the Watch 5 Pro. Now, obviously with maybe different settings and different use cases, this battery on the Apple Watch Ultra, I know you can probably stretch out to about four days. I'm just more on the heavy Apple Watch or smartwatch user side. So I'm seeing that two and a half technically three day, but not that 36 hour advertised uh, battery life on the Watch Ultra. But with the Watch 5 Pro, easily three days. Okay, now for the most important topic to discuss, user experience. What is it that you're actually going to experience the day you go to purchase this device and actually put it to use? That's what matters. What has my user experience been over these last however many days or weeks that I've had these devices? Now, I've had the Watch 5 Pro a lot longer than the Apple Watch Ultra, so let's start there. My user experience on the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, I enjoy this watch. This is an outright banger right here. This thing is booming. Now, I do feel like I would have preferred the rotating bezel and a slight design difference as this isn't, you know, my top pick design-wise, but the best and most Lovable thing about the Watch 5 Pro is the battery life. It is so effective, it is so reliable, and it is so what we have wanted on the Galaxy Watch in a long time. So I appreciate that. You know, once I dress it up, and I also get these nice watch faces, which I can't do on the Apple Watch because the Apple Watch doesn't have a traditional watch shape. The Apple Watch doesn't have the customization like this. That's the beauty of the Galaxy Watch Fire Pro. I love the customization. I love the battery life. I love the build quality of this smartwatch. Um, I'm seeing mixed reviews about the, you know, fitness tracking and so forth. I've only used it a couple of times for like walks and things like that and track that. As I said, with all of these watches, uh, it'll pick up when you start the walk and ask you, hey, are you on the walk? And you can say yes and it'll track it. But once the walk ends, that's where, you know, it's like sometimes it'll still be going and so forth. I'm seeing mixed reviews on that. I'm not that big of a person that's going to want to work out with a massive watch of this size. 
So I'm not always going to be tracking. Like when I hit weights, I don't want things on my wrist. That's why I need you guys to get down in the comment section below and let me know your user experience when it comes to like tracking with the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro because I'm seeing mixed results. But overall, my user experience has been pleasant with the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. It is an Android exclusive and it's honestly a Samsung exclusive for features and so forth. And it is what it is because the Apple Watch is the same thing. Let's move into the Apple Watch Ultra. Now the Apple Watch Ultra is a new phenomenon currently in the tech space. It is definitely shaking things up in the smartwatch arena. Apple packed feature upon feature, display upon display, value upon value, depending on how you look at it. Cause I know the price point is high and a lot of people are gonna stress that, but I mean, people were paying $749 for a stainless steel Apple Watch with nowhere near half of the features that's included with the Ultra. Titanium, sapphire glass, same things you, you are getting on the Watch 5 Pro. So as far as value goes, I will say the Watch 5 Pro from a price point perspective and build quality and things like that, it's probably the better value cost wise hands down. But the Apple Watch Ultra, it's just, I don't know why it's just such a breath of fresh air in the Apple hemisphere. I mean, obviously not a lot of things change in the Apple world. So seeing something like this happen is very exciting and it's just causing a buzz and a ruckus in the Apple world. But from a user experience standpoint, if you haven't seen like my day review and obviously I'm going to drop the one week review, I can tell you this, I've been enjoying this watch thus far because for people who are within the Apple ecosystem and who like Apple watches, but you've always wanted a bigger display, well, here it is. For those people who like Apple watches, but you've always wanted better battery life, well, here it is. The Series 8 has great battery life too. My video on that is coming soon as well. But this is like the battery life that we have not seen on an Apple Watch until now. So I can understand why there's such excitement and joy around this product. This is one of those exciting Apple launches in a long time. But it will also carry over to the user experience. And I will say this, although it's rectangular, when it comes to looking at your notification and reading things and seeing them in that full rectangular like platform, basically and essentially it becomes that small smartphone on your wrist. So it's a great sidekick to your iPhone. So when you don't wanna flip over and use your iPhone and you can check out those notifications, they are big, bright, and beautifully displayed on this display. So there's a lot of things with me using this Apple Watch Ultra as just typical smartwatch user with this Apple Watch Ultra that checks a lot of boxes that I didn't have checked typically with the Apple Watches, especially in comparison to watches like this, which give you mega battery and they've been doing it for so long so to finally get that here on the apple world is exciting and it just adds to the overall user experience for the apple user now between these two honestly it's tit for tat i mean it's honestly preference because if you're gonna go with the apple watch you gotta be within the apple ecosystem if you're gonna go with the samsung watch you have to be within the Samsung ecosystem slash Android, but technically Samsung ecosystem. So really it's preference between these two watches. I just wanted to display the offerings of the top of the top in the smartwatch realm from these two brands. And they line up quite well against each other. I will say that the Apple Watch Ultra has a lot more feature wise, a lot more safety features, a lot more packed into it as the Apple Watches have always had in comparison to say the Galaxy Watch. It's the reason why the Apple Watch is the number one selling smartwatch. And there's a reason why the Galaxy Watches, including this Watch 5 Pro, are extremely popular amongst smartwatch enthusiasts. So those reasons are what make these watches what they are. And you just have to choose which one is for you. Peace.